Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So are you in the mood for something fantastical? Maybe casting spells, summoning beasts and dueling your opponent? Well if so, then here's five things I think you need to know about Sorcerer. Sorcerer is a card game in which you are a mighty wizard vying for power in a Victorian London setting. On your turn you'll spend energy to perform actions, play spells and creatures from your grimoire and battle against your opponent or indeed opponents for control of areas. Combat has you rolling dice and determining where damage will go. The winner is the first person to have claimed two zones. Thing 1. Theme. So. Sorcerer has a very gothic and grim Victorian setting and to be fair a thinly veiled theme. Now this is true of a whole variety of card games where kind of the mechanics you're playing with are far more important than the setting. However despite this theme being a little on the uninspired side it is one we're familiar with and it doesn't really make it any less cool or beautifully creepy. It's kind of drew me in if I'm honest. Now each deck you play with is comprised of three parts. You have your character, their lineage and their domain. And this is a really fun way to explore this world and the sorcerer you play as. Um, familiar games or similar games, well you have to talk about something like Magic the Gathering and it definitely has that kind of feel to it. However, the nice part here is the fact that well you don't have to buy any further cards, they're all here in the box and more importantly you don't even have to build your own deck, they all come ready made for you. Thing two, mechanics. Well, this is a card game and it feels like many others where you're casting spells, you're summoning creatures and generally just doing your evil bidding and trying to take down your opponent. Um, the nice thing here, however, is how well all of this feels put together. Sure, it's you know not the most original thing we've heard of, but the way it blends together and flows together organically really gives it a sense of polish. Now, another vital feature here is the fact that you don't actually attack your opponent directly and instead you vie for dominance of these battlefields on the board and it helps the game feel less antagonistic. I know I didn't feel as you know personally attacked as you normally do in a 1v1 game and I think that really opens it up for you know newer players to come and enjoy it too. Um, I like the fact that it didn't have to be be me versus you but rather me wanting to achieve something throughout the game. Now this is important. <laughs> I hate games that involve dice for combat. I have no fun in rolling randomly and seeing what the outcome is. Now that is exactly what happens here in Sorcerer. However it is incredibly cleverly implemented. So when you attack you'll roll dice equal to the number on your monster, its attack value. And some of these will hit um, for one damage, some will hit for two, some will miss and some will critically hit. And it's these crits that are really very clever because what this allows for the attacker to do is to decide exactly where damage is going to go. Normally your opponent gets to choose and in this case so you can decide to damage your opponent's creatures, maybe so they can't attack you back, or to battle the battlefield directly and I think that makes for some great decision making. Also you get the ability to re-roll your dice or force your opponent to re-roll theirs and it takes this beyond kind of regular da based dice combat and you know what I really really loved it. Now putting your deck together the way it works means that people of any skill level can play with this game and enjoy it and I think that makes it very inviting. On a whole this game feels solid enough to be taken seriously and fun enough that mechanics don't really have to matter all that much. Thing 3 on the table. Sorcerer looks really great when it's set up and I think this is mostly due to its clever use of your player boards and the battleground artwork and it creates a really dynamic and interesting space in which to play. Um, the game uses lanes which keeps it very tidy when everything is set up during the game and it makes it really to understand the game state too. There's never any question about who is attacking what or what creatures are going where. The rulebook is really really good and it takes about 40 minutes for two of us to play. There are 12 decks in total in the box which you can combine for lots of variation and to create all sorts of different playstyles. Thing 4. Look and feel. 
Sorcerer is a game that's stunning in a variety of ways. The components are exceptionally lovely with lots of nice little touches and my unboxing video can show you some of those pieces up close if you're interested. Um, the artwork itself is rich and gorgeous and every time you draw a card it's, it's almost like a tiny gift and I really like the design and layout that mimic this dark and beautiful setting. Sorcerer is a game that makes me smile every time I take it out of its stupidly pretty box. Thing 5. Is this game any good? Well, for me, Sorcerer's first draw is the fact that everything you need is in the one box. You don't have to buy more cards, be able to build decks, or even draft cards. The ease with which you can go from taking the box off the shelf to playing is brilliant, and one that really shouldn't be underestimated. Card games can be hard to learn, and this one does everything in its power to make it easy for you. Now, I like card games a lot, and I've played a lot of them. And for me, this is a good one. There's something about a game that has to kind of click together or fit together nicely. And everything here is smooth and very well integrated. I find when you don't have to worry about the mechanics, you can focus on bending them to your advantage and creating opportunities within the confines of the rules. And for me, well, that's the best part. Sorcerer gives you the puzzle and the tools, and then it's up to you to create the solutions. And it's kind of really fun doing so. Now that's not to say that there isn't some issues here. Certain deck combinations do feel less powerful than others, but to be fair it's kind of hard to judge that when it's the player that really adds the strength to the deck. However if you are playing against a superior opponent there is nowhere to hide and there's no way really to balance the scales. This comes down to a skill battle at the end of the day. Now the use of these battlefields takes away some of those aggressive feelings you get when playing head to head and I think it's really smart, so that rather than attacking each other directly, you're fighting to control battlefields. It took away a lot of that kind of aggressive tension, and I think it really helped the game a lot. For me, it definitely elevated it and made it more open for newer players. In my mind, Sorcerer is such a fun card game, and yet it somehow maintains a competitive edge. Um, and it's one that I think people should be looking at. Do I think you should have Sorcerer in your collection? Well, if you're familiar with some of the other offerings from White Wizard games like Star Realms or Epic or Hero Realms, then this is the next step in that kind of evolution. And to be fair, I love where it's going. So if you're looking to like step up your card gaming, um, then this is definitely where you should be looking. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Sorcerer, why not just leave them in the comment box below. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care, everybody.